financial crisis of 2007-8 led to significant increases in deficits and debts of governments around the world. In 2010, Carmen Reinhardt and Kenneth Rogoff presented growth in a time of debt, which suggested that as debt increased, if debt as a proportion of GDP went beyond 90% of GDP, there was a significant reduction of um, economic growth. The research by Reinhardt and Rogoff was used by the coalition government in 2010 to implement an austerity regime with the stated aim of preventing debt reaching the 90% of debt to GDP percentage. In order to investigate this, we've collected data from 2008 to 2018 on debt proportion of GDP and growth in real GDP. In order to investigate this, we've run a simple naive regression of GDP growth against debt as a proportion of GDP. And we get results um, suggesting that the fitted value of growth is 5.119 minus 0.016 times by debt. Now, in order to interpret this minus 0.016, this is telling us that as debt increases by one percentage point, growth reduces by 0.016 percentage points. So the estimate of the impact of a one percentage point increase in debt is to lower growth rates by 0.016 percentage points. So we could look at, for instance, the impact of a 10 percentage point increase of debt as a proportion as a percentage of GDP, and that would be associated with it's estimated that that leads to a 0.16 percentage point reduction in growth. Now the intercept, the 5.119, that's giving you an estimate of the growth level of an economy if it had zero debt as a percentage of GDP. So in other words, a country with zero debt, that 5.119 suggests that the country would have a growth rate of 5.119%. However, there are no countries in our sample with 0% debt, which suggests that we would be extrapolating outside of the sample. Now, a key question is, is it likely that we've estimated a causal relationship? That is, is it likely that increasing debt lowers growth? Well, let's think about it in terms of debt dynamics. We already know that there are two major ways to lower debt as a proportion of GDP. One way is to run a budget surplus. So in other words, have um, government spending being less than tax income. The other way is by increasing the growth rate. By increasing the growth rate, the 1 plus G is, may well be larger than 1 plus R, and that leads to a reduction in the stock of debt. Now, how does this relate to this question? Well, the key thing is that we've observed a negative relationship between debt and growth. But what this might actually be saying is rather than increasing debt leading to a reduction in growth, rather the reverse, that a reduction in growth leads to an increase in debt.